Challenge – Can I beat the three Mechanoi bosses? Difficulty – Losing is fun. Storyteller – That's sociopath Randy. Biome – Sea ice – Because I hate myself. War crimes – Plenty of them. Alright, time to move. I got about a minute before I drop dead. Thankfully, my little helper is going to carry me through the beginning. He's building at the speed of light. Come here, little bastard. And we did it. My boy here is the MVP. With the base completed, temperature should stabilize real quick. To be fair, I start in the summer, so it's not horrible outside. And now begins the really fun part. Researching. Not because I will need food, because I have nothing better to do with my colonists. You can't really tell when it's night when you're on sea ice, it's always bright. But we survived the first day. With the smelter, we are going to be able to transform all the raider weapons into steel, which is the most important resource on sea ice. Jonas just casually watching the eclipse while there are 3 degrees outside. Have fun while the weather is still nice. Hello there, Kevin. Yes, yes, you can come in. It's warm inside. Psych! Give me your organs. Get him, boys! <laughs> Don't worry, I won't waste the meat either. He has zero medical skills. D don't judge him. Alright, he sucks at it. You're right. Two other unfortunate souls ended on my property. Sorry, boys, but I need your meat. These mechs are impenetrable. Just wait until I get more of them. Four failed surgeries? Really? We need to work on this. Let's get rid of all this garbage that is filling my house. You try playing on sea ice and not being a cannibal? I dare you. It's impossible. Oh, hello there. It's so nice not having to fight anyone. He actually did it. We got the lung. He's learning. He was trying to remove the kidney. How the fuck do you destroy the heart? Jonas should not be a doctor. Sea ice has become a bit too popular for my liking. Please, go away. Jesus, why is it on fire? It's alright. We, we put it out. Bruh. There goes 170 steel. Alright, Remold, make it hard on me. We don't want things being too easy. Man, I feel bad taking organs from a 7 year old, but uh, I'll do it anyways. <laughs> Certified Remold moments. Had to be done. Sorry, kid. Look, he made a snowman. That is so nice. Jonas, ain't that crazy? You can finally sell all the garbage from my base, plus the organs. And with the wood we are getting, I can expand the base a little. It was getting crowded. This little structure here is going to be filled with planter boxes. And no, we are not planting rice. We are cannibals. We are planting fiber corn so I can make more wood to continue expanding. Do not ask what happened to sparkles. You saw nothing. We are in the money, boys. As long as ships don't crash on top of me, we are going to get so much steel and human meat. I think I just secured my ticket to 100 days. Okay, my base is untouched. Let's go collect our loot. Hope I have enough space for it. I indeed do not have enough space. I'm just gonna throw all the clothes in the water. I want to get rid of them. To grow anything using Dub's hygiene, I need to make a well and connect it to the planter boxes. This is going to be the meat room. I don't want it spoiling outside. My little helpers are going to be carrying steel to the base for quite a while. The map is full of ship chunks. Now that the irrigation system is complete with a pump and water storage, I can plant fiber corn. Did Randy run out of events? Stop blowing up my stuff. <laughs> Not the turbine, no! I'm just defeated. At this rate, the plant boxes might explode. Now we have two snowmen. Good thing they can only melt, not blow up. And like always, we end up making a nutria paste dispenser. One of these days, I have to cook some good food for my colonies. I feel bad for them. Our first raid of two, let's see how we handle this. I don't know why I expected anything else, with combat extended these mechanoids are impenetrable by their shitty weapons. I need to make a mech recharger, my boys are almost out of energy. <laughs> my point proven, don't worry buddy, I will get you up in no time. I will treat these mechanoids better than any human I will ever meet. Man, I need some better power sources, this happens daily. Stop with the raids bro, I have one happen every two days, get some better events Randy. Imagine getting killed by these little robots. All they have are some small claws, but they can't be killed. Since I don't need to help them, might as well start cleaning the future bodies. That took a total of 5 minutes. Never knew a raid could be that long, but I think we just broke the record. I'm mainly doing this quest for raider meat, not for the shuttle loot. That is just a little bonus. Hopefully I don't freeze while I do the quest. It's minus 57 degrees Celsius. That should make you an ice cube in 5 seconds. Don't freeze bro, I need you to get to the ship. That would have been a dumb way to fail the quest. 
Jonas has spent 90% of his time on this planet researching. Wonder how he doesn't go insane. The amount of war crimes that took place on this sea ice is actually uncountable. Just looking at this room should tell you what happened most days. We are going medieval style and building some ditches for defense. Now all I have to do is to fill them up with some crocodiles and we are a certified cartoon villain. You get away from that. They can't even kill me, all they do is annoy me. The defenses are for the turbine at this point, not for Jonas. Oh no, I'm gonna take your heart. This is what happens when you attack my turbine. But in happier news, from all the organ harvesting, Jonas has become quite good at it. I want to personally thank all the raiders who gave their life so this idiot can learn how to operate. Uh, cut this part out of the video. Hello, yes please, take all my garbage. If you're curious, those sandbags are made entirely out of human leather. This base is truly cursed, but I have no other material to build my stuff, so yeah, I have to. Just pretend it's made from something else. I really should expand my base, I have no place for anything new. That radio console is one tile width and it barely fits. See, the ditches work, truly an impenetrable defense I constructed here. Wood, I need that, I feel like a sardine with this small base. Don't think I'm suddenly a good person, she's from the empire and uh, yeah, I don't want them on my ass so we are taking care of her. This might just be a mistake, but I want the artifact so let's hope I can actually defend against the piggies. Here they come. Wait, it's one dude. Oh Jesus, it's a, it's a dude with a big gun. That might have been the most intense raid so far. Good thing this one didn't throw his grenade or else this ship would have become shipwreck. God, that was such a bad joke. Ah, screw it, I'm keeping it anyways. Mission achieved, we got the intel for the next location. Now that I have wood, let me actually make some shelves. It's still filled with crap, but now I can see the ground at least. <laughs> As you can see, I have a new mod installed and we're going to have a lot of fun later. We can finally collect this fiber corn. It feels like an eternity has passed since I planted it. To be fair, on sea ice most days just pass along. It doesn't even get that dark. It feels like I'm in a loop that doesn't end. Sorry, where was I? Ah yes, fiber corn, let's get it! Damn Neanderthals still stuck in the ice age? Well, well I'm not. It's like shooting fish in a barrel. <laughs> I, I love killing people. Okay, I don't love it that much. Look how messy it gets. Now I have to clean the ice and that is annoying. Finally got the beacons functional, now we can trade anytime I want. The usual American purchase. Just a bunch of bullets, hell yeah brother. If you're wondering why I'm buying two wolves in a work, well that's what villains do, you have to have exotic animals to be taken seriously. The pigs might be the only enemy that pose a danger to us since they are not cavemen and have actual guns. With combat extended one bullet could just kill me so they are pretty dangerous. Keep those grenades away from my turbine. Oh, not my boys. We made it, but at what cost? We lost our little friends. Our base is fucked up. Pigs truly are the most dangerous enemy in the whole game. It's time to build a mech gestator. Even one day spent without my little helpers is like hell here. Besides emotional support, they are really required for me to make my any progress. Lifter 2 is here and I already feel better. Whoa, what the hell? Not that Jonas is killing the puppy, who cares about that? He is a she. I misgender my colonies for 84 days. God damn. She also lost an ear, but that is less important. A actual, actually, stop. Don't hit the animals. Wow, that would have been the dumbest way possible to lose this run. I would have deleted the remote in a second. Guess I should not celebrate too soon. Uh, uh, Alright, we good. Nothing to worry about. I'm so sick of not having electricity, I'm building a toxifier. Screw the environment, I want to have heat inside. You know what would be fun? Stitching his eyes, maybe bashing his spine, where we could always mangle his arms. The possibilities are endless. Hey, we did it! I stitched his eyes shut. 
Too bad Jonas catastrophically failed in bashing his spine, but the end result is the same anyway, so I consider it a great success. Now that we have resurrected both our boys, maybe we can get some new mechanoids, especially some for defense since the raids are getting tougher and tougher. There he is, my trusty warrior equipped with a shotgun. The future is here, robots with guns. Not these robots with guns. Alright, I need to prepare some firepower. And here it is. I fortified the base a little bit. A human leather mini turret nest. The human leather part was necessary to prove a point. But it is heavily defended so anything coming from this side should die pretty quickly. Space trading is the best thing ever, especially on sea ice. As long as I have organs, I can buy whatever I want. I'm taking matters into my own hands. I'm gonna wake up the mechanoids. Get ready boys. Look at that turret nest doing work. Oh, absolutely obliterated. This is what I like to see. Got no room for anything new, so Jonas is going to work outside when breaking mechanoids. I have a feeling we're going to encounter many more. I just have to fill up the base with these turrets and we are golden. Its range is the entirety of the map. I think we're going to be fine from now on. We got to day 100. Usually this is where I end the video and <laughs> don't do anything for YouTube for a week. But this time I am doing an extra large video just for you my cuties. Kisses. Ooh. I'm like a kid at a candy shop. I can't decide in which way to torture this man. It would have been better to just die when you landed my dude. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> the scream never gets old. He looks horrible. I almost feel bad. This is a designated pollution pack zone, if they would get hit inside the house and go off, the air around here would get deadly very quickly. Alright, time to test out the defenses. Oh, run inside. Jonas is not dying to one bullet to the head, that is not happening. Okay, we are doing this old school, I can't mend the turret when the pikemen have the entire map as their range. Just some good old EMP should knock this down. Don't worry buddy, I will revive you as soon as I can. Finally, that was so annoying. Let me start working on getting my mechs back. Good thing I have infinite money or else I would be pissed. This new room was supposed to be the research room, but I can add an operating table. Should be fine as long as I don't spill blood on the research. Wait, how did she get back up? Get back on the table! Stop it! I should have cut off her legs. I will say I am beyond surprised she still isn't dead. She has almost no limbs or organs left. Made this axe for the sole purpose to break the mech clusters, and to be fair, it's a pretty good investment. These trombos made a big, big mistake wandering into my base. Time to go extinct! I'm going to make some good money from these. Hope this won't cause me any problems later on. Time to give revenge, boys. <laughs> I feel way better now. Isn't this just beautiful? I have a feeling mech clusters are the new norm around here. I just wanted to leave it alone. Very stupid. Well, that turret just wiped out all of the Neanderthals. And now it's shooting me. Thanks guys, fuck you. Ooh, the shield battery. Seems I have to send in my boys in to deal with the turret. That was not a good idea, no. That wasn't a good idea at all. Buying those animals was truly a waste of money. And now they're all dead. I can't even leave the base without getting a volley of plasma thrown on my face. The shield battery is recharging, it's my time to shine. Let's hope I can snipe these turrets in time. There goes another one, just one left and I can go clear the rubble. These mech clusters take almost 10 days to fully wipe out. I need some better way to deal with them, it's really inefficient. Not lifter one! He died like seven times so far. That has to be the most unlucky mechanoid ever. Yes, I did research a washing machine. Why? I don't know, it's kind of fun to use these dumb mods. Alright, the game felt bad for me. Another space battle. Please don't hit lifter one on accident. I forgot insects even existed to be honest. I'm so sick of the electric furnaces, it's the fourth time it caught on fire, just blow up already. There you go, what a piece of garbage. My entire base almost caught on fire, if that's how I lost this run, I don't know what I would have done. Besides the crazy unlucky moments, we are actually quite rich, to the point I can use steel for walls. We are doing pretty good, but it feels like every event could just end me. Well, that is somehow still not enough room, how many clothes can one person possess? Don't do it, don't do it. Don't do it. 
I'm doing it. <laughs> I can't help myself. I don't know why I did it. <laughs> Just for fun, I guess. Ah, pain. Whoever installed these cables should be fired. Yeah, I'm looking at you, Jonas. <laughs> be good boys now. Hold the line. Don't let Jonas be dog food. <laughs> Looks scary there for a bit. This happens so often, I, I will skip it from now on. But I'm pretty sure the smelter has blown up four times so far. I'll keep up a counter for it. These guys don't really do much. Ooh, I have an idea. Let's shoot the hives and see if they fight each other. We have a royal rumble in our hands, ladies and gentlemen. Who will come out victorious? The mechanoids or the insects? Seems the mechanoids have won today. Let me give them a reward. A bunch of bullets. Alright, that was kind of fun. A bit of mech versus insect action is always fun. Although they should really make the insects a bit more interesting. They're pretty boring in vanilla. Watch out guys, it's another mechanoid raid. I have a feeling I will not see another human raider from now on. Oh, they have lasers. Put the fire out, I don't want it to burn down. My little guy is not screwing around. He's alone in there and ready to shoot them. He actually did it. Really thought he would die. Alright, the game is just messing with me at this point. This storage room is something else. I probably have over 1000 human meat. Just realize I can use packed dirt instead of just walking on snow and I will only get a 10% movement debuff. Besides the fact I should have done this sooner, the reason I use dirt and not some other material is because I'm very stingy and want to use something free. What the? That's a lot of little mechs coming to shoot me. Wait, that's cheating! Only I am allowed to do that! Okay, the militators are down. Time to hide in the house until I figure out how to deal with the cluster. And five minutes later, he ran out of bullets. Okay, these raids are not the most fun. I need to get better turrets. Any day now, it will hit it. Just be very patient. That's not working. Got Jonas' shield belt. Let's go destroy the turrets manually. Finally, I don't have stuff on the ground. It only took me 165 days, but I did it. Write a comment right now and say you're proud of me. Come on, I'll wait. Don't make me angry. Do it. That's actually bad since I can't collect their bodies, but it's always funny to see a raid get killed by mechs. I need some picks to go kill that plasma turret. I don't know why, but Dub's hygiene is so much fun to play with, adding so many fun little things to make your bases feel more alive. When I read Warhammer lore about Vormantite, I thought it'd be more impressive than this, but uh, 31 rats are not enough. Any quest or raid involving humans is just sad at this point. They didn't even shoot. Oh, finally, I got someone to do my dirty work. Let me save you, my boy. Go back to the Empire and tell them how cool and kind I am. I have been constantly expanding the base and adding new workstations. At this rate, I'm going to forget what each one does. 1300 silver just from selling clothes. This is what I call stonks. I did have to wash them, so that washing machine is paying off. Oh no, they are right near the electricity generators. Put it out before everything explodes. <laughs> that was so close to not losing the wind turbine. At least the toxic fires are kinda intact. Fire has been my greatest enemy so far. This base is made of steel and wants to burn down daily. Screw renewable energy, more toxic fires. I'm sure this is not going to end poorly for me. Oh, I just got a jump scare in Rimworld. Nice, I got an organ delivery right to my door. I spent some time making a sewage system. Some poor mechanoid will have the job of taking the poop out. What a shitty experience. <laughs> I'm so funny. Uh, jokes aside, we are entering endgame. 
It's time to defeat the mechanoid bosses. I'll do a bit of preparations and we're going to take down Diabolus. This auto turret should be better for close range combat, but I hope Jonas doesn't get her head blown off in a single shot from the mechanoids. Reading the description for this mini turret bunker might be the funniest shit I have read. It seems like the most useless thing I could build. It's expensive, will explode, and will definitely shoot your colonists. But I have to do it. For the memes, I'm making it. Come on, build faster. I pay you nothing for a reason, just so you know. Good time to test the bunker. Hope Jonas comes out alive. Alright, no friendly fire. I'm more scared by my own turret than the raiders. 200 days later, it was time to show the mechanoids who was in charge. Every gun is prepared with armor piercing bullets. Already down to 56%. I need to kill it before. Get away from there, boys. Got him. With that much firepower, he stood no chance. I can say I can say the same for my bunker. It got erased from the face of the planet. Uh, maybe I should have baited his attack with one of the little mechs, but uh, hey, mission accomplished. Let me repair my base and give my reward. The signal chip. Now I have unlocked higher tier of mech tech research and can make some stronger mechanoids. This is where the fun begins. Since the mechanoids want revenge and they're bringing mortars along now. The amount of time I have rebuilt this base is getting dangerously high. I will admit it, I'm kinda broke. There you go, I gave the base another makeover. Uh, let's see how long it lasts. I finally found a use for my human meat. I have an indoor pig farm. And by indoor farm I mean they're just running around the base shitting everywhere. I should probably make them a separate space before the smell gets deadly. There you go, into the mech room you go. That's the best I got. Sorry boys, you have to share the bedroom with the pigs. The mech on mech violence around here is a tragedy. What has this society come to? Oh, he's finally dead, good. Melt down his body for steel now. Think of slaves like, uh, an investment. <laughs> wow, that sounded so wrong. Uh, let me add in remold. Uh, it's a good investment because I just take their organs and I make three times what I pay for them. Oh, look, something else that will blow up my base. Hell yeah, love to see it. Alright buddy, let me show you why smaller is better. Alright, it has been a minute, can we get this over with? Just realize if I ever get a hard raid during an outage, it's over for me. Uh, good thing this one was really easy. I was just doing a mission for the Empire and World War 3 starting my backyard. No, 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 <laughs> she's not dying to furry, stop it. Okay, okay, we, okay, we managed to kill them. Look at the amount of bodies there. I will say, normal raids are way more fun than mechanoid raids. Maybe it's the fact there is blood everywhere. I like blood. Average Romanian vampire. Hold on, wait a minute, <laughs> there are more of them. Okay, okay, no more jokes, it got serious. Alright, we did it, that was a pretty intense fight, uh, somehow only one person died which is a miracle. Okay, okay, whoever is outside is just dead, oh my, my poor boys. Oh, as I said, I'm not going outside. Look, they all left and we're best friends with the Empire, we can even call them for help. I will definitely need that in time of crisis. My fucking Yogi Bear and his friends are just walking around my base while I'm stuck in the pig shack. I've been stuck here for two days now, uh, and the pigs are starting to eat each other. If I don't get them some food, we might be left with one pig by the end. Yes, please come save me. Uh, this is so embarrassing for someone so smart like me to get beaten by bears. Kill them already, why are the bears killing you? I can't believe I was saved by the world's most useless caravan. I need to clean around the base because it's a shithole, look at it.
You can't even tell there is snow on the ground from all the blood. Oh, I forgot about her. It's fine, the pig will get rid of the evidence. This is what happens when you don't have any mechs around, nothing is getting cleaned. It's like when a guy moves out and lives alone, this is what his house looks like. Everything is turned on the ground, including the food. Alright, I got my boys back and things are getting done around the base now. What a surprise. I'll be honest, I wasn't paying attention to the screen at all. When did this happen? Uh, and as always, it's my problem now. I don't have my insect spray on me, but uh, some bullets will do the work as well. I can finally start researching better mech tech. Not to be mean, but the militators are not strong enough to deal with what is attacking me. Two large mech gestators should be enough for now. On to getting some upgrades for Jonas, for more bandwidth and control groups for the mechanoids. Damn, she looks good. I can't wait to have sleep accelerators in real life. Imagine the amount of video games I could play. This is what happens when you disrespect Amazon, they just drop what killer robots at your doorsteps. Now this is gameplay. I told you, they can't do much. I have to resort to running around until it runs out of ammo or energy. Uh, I'll see you in 5 minutes when I'm done. Alright, there's actually been 10 minutes. Uh, let's go. God, I'm suffering here. Uh, I had to make ammunition mid-fight because I ran out. This is not okay, man. Let's start getting some better firepower. I can't keep living like this, it's pain. Think I found a way to deal with those clusters? Those stupid laser turrets shouldn't be a problem now. Yes, I am remaking the base again. I had lost count by now, but it will look better, just wait. We interrupt the base making to deal with an insect infestation. As you can see, they are quite aggressive and seem to hate the mechanoids in particular. Good thing they also have small brains, meaning they can be fooled quite easily. <laughs> this one keeps walking around. Uh, not not too sure what it wants to do. There you go, made a bit more space in the base. Since we don't need the fiber corn anymore, now we use non-flammable materials. For obvious reasons. Congratulations, Mr. Itakin. You have been chosen for a very special procedure. See you on the other side. Your prize is becoming a mechanoid and serving me for all eternity. Take pleasure in the fact you're a robot and are now superior to humans. Imagine filling a room with only shelves and still having trash on the ground. I found a solution. Two rooms with shelves. More is always better guys, remember that. The amount of pollution that is slowly encroaching on my base is actually scary. You know you fucked up when you can see big green clouds. I will have to make some pounds to clean the air real soon. With the shield generator intact, I can't really shoot at the cluster. It's way too close to my base to attack it. I uh, guess I have to wait for another caravan. And we found our lackeys. Let's see who comes out victorious. Cement? That's concrete, baby! It's taking too long. Let's see what an EMP mortar shell can do. The shield battery is down. It's time to strike. Once the centipede is down, we can easily clear out the rest of them. Ah, that's far enough, buddy. This is some Mission Impossible shit right here. Just watch. Yeah, I'm good. Uh, too bad I got Jonas shot, but uh, <laughs> she can recover. These militators are actually fucking I can't even say that on YouTube. Are they made of paper or what? Every single time, you have to do things alone. Oh, we are done. Oh, feel masochistic playing this. The mortar was so good that raid, why would you break it? Uh, Jonas is going insane in game and I'm going insane playing this colony. Shouldn't these be polar bears attacking? This game is highly inaccurate. Uh, anyways, uh, they died. Screw you, nature. They don't stop bringing stuff to melt. All Jonas does is recycle materials. Day and night. We're actually quite nature friendly if you ignore the pollution generating machines. It's time to progress further. The War Queen is the next mechanoid boss incoming. Hope my base won't get completely destroyed. The other mechanoids shouldn't be that big of a problem. Alright Jonas, just a gunshot, stay strong. The other mechanoids are down, only the queen is left standing.
Come on, take it down. It's walking very slowly towards us. Oh, the turret blocked the shot. That was a bit too close, Jonas, but we did it. That wasn't so bad. I have one random dipshit left and he's just shooting my base. The party's over. Leave, bro. Look at this stupid creature walk. Yeah, not so cool now. We can start researching even more advanced mech technology. We are in the end game, as it's called. And the first thing I do in the end game is to make a nutrient paste vat. Mmm, yummy. At least know the nutrient paste Jonas eats is made from pigs, not humans. So I guess it's better if we excuse the 250 days of cannibalism. While we are just setting a tunneler to help defend when enemies enter the base, I'll be making a mech commander helmet, more bandwidth and some head protection since Jonas' head is very squishy and we don't want it to pop. Run Jonas and put that fire out right now. Not the big one, not the big one. <laughs> ah, the tunneler was almost ready. Why does this game hate me? Oh, my pigs are turning into bacon, my god. I need to go to sleep to get over this tragedy. Uh, back to human meat. Uh, at least Jonas looks cool. I got a mod that reskins the Mechanitor gear to make it look better. Personally, I think they are way better than the vanilla ones. While Jonas looks cool, she should also become a high mind. Good thing the mechs can't have a vote. I don't think she would be leader much longer. Time to unlock high mech tech. If my stuff doesn't burn down, I might actually get some of the mechanoids. We can only hope. At this point, getting the insects to fight the mechs is the only thing that makes me happy. Uh, this time the mechanoids came on top. So far it's one to one. Ah, something to do, why not? Expected results to say the least. This is like losing my own kid. It hurts so much. This is why we save Christian, so he can be reborn into a mechanoid. Shed your human flesh and embrace metal. <laughs> now give me 20 minutes. It takes a long time to make this damn mechs. I looked at my phone for 30 seconds. When did a meteorite hit my base? So far, three mechanoids die from me, meteorite, and my base has a hole in it. Jonas better get lucky, these things are more dangerous than the raids. 300 days later, we finally have an advanced mechanoid. If this pikeman disappoints me, I don't know what I will do. I remain my garden with some more advanced tech for it to actually grow in this frozen wasteland, but it needed some sturdy concrete walls. I don't want some rogue mechanoids burning my rice up. Look about the wolf and the wolf is at the door. They came here with production facilities like they're moving into my backyard. Of course, you couldn't fall on the mech clusters, you stupid asteroids. I can't wait for you to see what I'm doing with these, I got a genius idea. Although let's focus on the present, the amount of pollution on this map is staggering, so let's make some pollution pumps to help alleviate this disaster. Look how fast my rice grew, this is the only reason I played the late game, so I have the power to quickly make rice. Don't get comfortable there guys with your little mortars. I save mech clusters for moments like these. Ah, there you go, they're awake! <laughs> that was quick. Okay, now we have to deal with these bastards. Good thing I'm homies with the Empire. It's fun not having to fight yourself. That was fast. The Empire are on point. Always ally yourself with the dictatorship. That's a good life lesson. It's time to unveil my master plan. The drop pods are filled with toxic waste packs. Over 150 packs are going to be sent to our Yitake neighbors. Enjoy you, furry fucks. I'm here to inform you they didn't like that. They actually hated it. And of course, my entire power grade is down. Who needs defenses? Okay, we're not having fun anymore. You are not building mortars on my map. Yeah, accept your toxic waste packs and don't complain my gift next time. There are more of them. Say thank you this time. Thank you for the pollution. That's how it goes. This is how you make money in Rimworld. Watch. 
over 5,000 silver. I should make a clickbait YouTube video with this. I think I found my new favorite thing to do in RimWorld. I'm already polluting this map, might as well start exploiting its natural resources. If I'm poor in real life, I want to have money in RimWorld, damn it. Uh, yeah. On this map, I have to make permanent concrete structures because everything else has already been blown up like 7 times. I probably need to 100 more pollution pumps. The whole map has this green fart cloud over it. What the? I just got this event. I think the game ran out of things to send me. Wait! <laughs> That's what I'm doing! I didn't know they could do that. They sent me 200 while I only sent 150. I literally got scanned back. Can't even be mad. That's really funny. Uh, this map is doomed to 100% pollution. There is no hope for it. Oh, <laughs> let's get comfy and store this somewhere. Mr. Pikeman is the only capable fighter I have around here. Too bad he has low range. It's really hard to make better mechs around here. They are expensive. He's beating all of them by himself. He's so awesome. I love you, Pikeman1. If you're wondering what is happening, nothing much. Just a casual toxic fallout. Who could have predicted such events? My actions do have consequences. Being a complete psychopath means you only have one ally, the Empire, since they're just like you. So let's improve my relation with them. A bunch of human leather clothes should be the perfect gift for this crazy bunch. I'm sure they'd love it. 22 goodwill for that ship is pretty good. Jesus Christ, 402 waste packs. Oh god, they have lasers. R.I.P. my pike man. What do you mean, food binge? Get back to the machine gun. I have no clue if the bunkers can kill these things in time. Oh, it's it's down. Thank God. Now I have the rest to deal with. You wanted to eat? Why are you outside? There are bullets flying right past your head. It's been 10 minutes. Our girl Jonas is back in action after overdosing on nutrient paste. There are two lancers just walking around shooting at my little mechanoids. I'm in the bunker range so I can kill you. You're just annoying at this point. Alright, Jonas is pulling out the Glock. She's sick of you. Yeah, run away you cowards. Jonas is not messing around. <laughs> She's almost level 20 shooting. No one is escaping her. 10 years later. Die you pile of trash. Why is it stronger than the mechanoid bosses? What is this? Fine, that guy gets to live in my base. I'm on to bigger things. The range of our turrets is not as long as the mechanoids, so I'm going to create a turret hive further along to be able to shoot the mechanoids as soon as they enter, thus nullifying the range. Let's see if this is enough to defeat the last mechanoid boss. It's time to summon Apocriton. If we can beat him, we are truly the ultimate mechanator. The ultimate mechanator that doesn't have enough steel to make more mechanoids. Don't judge me, I don't have the resources to make other dudes. And they also get one shot, so these turrets should do a bit better. This can hopefully defeat Apocriton. Okay, here we go. And they started in the furthest corner possible. They're going around the base. Are they using strategy? What is this? Time to use the auto cannon. Prepare to get blasted, Apocriton. Ignore this. This mod is bugged and is using spaghetti code, so let's continue. It's not shooting. The fortifications are preventing the cannon from shooting. What a shit show we have on our hands, ladies and gentlemen. I think I run out of ammo in everything. Hope I have enough ammo made to reload them or else this is not going to end well. Hey, stop resurrecting them! I have no clue what he's doing. This fight was supposed to be epic. Act like a boss. He's just walking around. Oh. Finally shot! <laughs> Suck on that one, Apocriton. What a lame ass fight. But we did it. All three mech bosses are defeated, and I will give myself the title of the Ultimate Mechanitor. I mean, this is not really useful since I can't build any mechs. Uh, maybe some other time. How does this keep happening, man? I should play the lottery because the chances of that many mechanoids dying is incredible. The cannon is actually shooting. 
Now they stand no chance against me. If I actually drilled for steel from the beginning, maybe I would have been able to make more mechs. Foxes? What will foxes do to the great mechanator Jonas? What a joke. There are 52 of them though. Why are they getting through? Oh crap! Stay away from her. Lift her tree, protect her. Okay, okay, okay. We are safe. Why was that more intense than the Pokriton fight? That is so sad. What a mess. This is going to smell worse than the pollution, which is trying to enter the base and kill Jonas. No bullets and no firepower. This is what we call a bad timing with the cluster right next to my front door. Alright, let me call my Empire boys to clean up this mess. Oh. Oh, what the fuck? My little guys, before my entire base gets blown up, I wanted to say that you're the best. I couldn't become the ultimate mechanical without you. I will miss you. Because I'm getting the fuck out. I ain't dying here. So long, suckers. And with that, Jonas made it out. Thank you for watching this video. This monster took a lot of work and time, so a like and a subscribe will be very appreciated. If you want the mods that I use for this video, I have a mod pack in my Discord channel. More content coming soon, TM. Bye-bye. <laughs>